One question we've received many times over the years is something that's really fundamental and gets at the heart of the reasons that we're on the water in the first place. And that question is, what do fish look like? The simple answer is that fish appear differently in each of the three sonar techniques. So you need to be able to look for different things depending on the technique that you're using. In traditional 2D sonar, the textbook answer is that fish will appear like arches. But the truth of the matter is that the shape of a fish's 2D sonar return depends on a number of factors, including your boat speed, the 2D sonar frequency that you're using, and the orientation of your transducer as it sits in the water. The lesson here is that you should be on the lookout for a variety of shapes, including blobs, streaks, and partial arches, as you hunt for fish using 2D sonar. An additional wrinkle is that other objects in the water besides fish can also create arches in 2D sonar. And that's where down imaging comes into play because down imaging's picture-like images make it easy to distinguish between fish and other objects in the water. So what do fish look like in down imaging? Well, that's easy. They look like bright spots. When you've got a bright spot in down imaging, especially one that correlates with a 2D sonar return, then you've got yourself a fish. The general theme of looking for bright spots continues as we think about finding fish using side imaging. Fish and side imaging will also appear as bright spots, but the key for me has always been to look for a bright spot as well as a corresponding dark spot, which is the fish's sonar shadow. If you've got a bright spot that lines up nicely with a dark sonar shadow, then you've got yourself a fish, guaranteed. Now that you know what to look for in each of the three sonar techniques, go hook up the boat and go catch a few. They're out there waiting for you.